Hi YouTube, today I want to show you how you can attach uh, Digital Ocean's block storage on uh, ISP config um, server. And um, in this example, uh, I will show you how you uh, can attach the block storage to a certain client. Yeah, when, when <clears throat> for example, a client reaches out to you and says, listen, uh, I want to have uh, whatever, uh, 150 gigs of storage, how much is it? Yeah, and you can, with DigitalOcean, you can do that dynamically without um, having to, or without the need to um, expand the whole machine. Yeah? You can just attach block storage for this specific client and uh, he, he can have it and, and you don't have to play um, around a lot with things. So I've prepared, uh, now for client one, I've prepared some simple sites, just some demo sites. Here's a, here's a just a WordPress setup, you know, nothing special. And um, just log into your uh, DigitalOcean account, click on Volumes, and add the block storage. Yeah, in this example, we just make it 10 gigs. Um, give it a name. I will just name it Client1 because uh, that's also the way how, how ISP Config is storing that. And, and, and when, when, when you have many clients who, who want to extend their storage, then uh, you will have a better overview, I guess. You click on Create Volume. And then DigitalOcean gives you this example, how to attach the, the additional storage. Um, you have to modify this, but I will show you how. That's, that's uh, not a big deal. So, what we want to do first is yeah, log into your machine. I've just set up this, this little box here. The first thing you want to do is uh, to stop Apache to make sure that, that no new data is being um, written to the web, uh, to, to, to the website, to the databases, etc, etc. So you stop Apache and then you want to check out the client's directory. So we have here now client one, and we want to uh, mount the, the additional storage as client one. So to keep the, the data of the, the client in, intact, to not uh, interfere with it, um, we create a backup directory in temp, and uh, then we pull all the data from the client one directory to client minus x minus back to um, have a backup of it. Yeah, you, you will need to do that because uh, when we apply the or mount the, the block storage in the client's account, then all the data will be gone anyway. Yeah, so so you need to make a backup. So we. You see, it's, everything is being pulled over from web 4, web 3, uh, web 2, all, all the data is over. We can give it a check. And you see, it's still everything is intact. Yeah, web 1, web 2, web 3 and 4, and also the sites, they are all good so far. And um, now... We come to this here, so you first want to, yeah, that, that we can just do, you can copy just this command here, the first one, that's okay, 
to format the additional storage and apply it okay and um, then we have to modify this thing here yeah. so we copy it so where uh, DigitalOcean wants us to mount the additional hard drive or the log storage in mount that's not what we want to do we want to mount it in um, in in the clients directory which is client one want, yeah we want to mount it in var w clients client one so we have to change these things here mount we can remove it okay so we want to mount it up, up, up. Yeah. Um, in S-Client1 and we have to separate this, this um, I know we can remove the first command because the directory is already there so what we start with is a sudo mount minus o pop, 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 the volume and we mount it in client one and you have to change it here as well yeah so that's var dub 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 clients client one and then you can Easy peasy, apply this piece of command uh, in the terminal and when you check now, clients client one, you see nothing is in there except of the lost and found folder, you can leave it there, it's just okay. And now you want to push back the data you have uh, backed up in uh, temp with rsync. Um, just push it over. And when we check this one now again, you see we have all the data back in there. And we can make a check. Ah, oh, we have to start Apache first. Service. To start, okay, and when we reload this site, we should be back. Yeah. So it's all just fine. That's how you do it, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.